Hello, and welcome back. I know I haven't recorded anything in quite a while, but I kind of felt like doing some more, so here I am. Uh, the unfortunate news is I kind of lost all my England serves. Well, actually, I lost all my old serves, so I can't really continue that anymore, so that's about as far as I'm going to get with England. But I mean, I did show all the basics of the game and what you should do when you first sign out in England, so, you know, I'm, I'm not like too really bottom, not too bothered about it really, so. But that's I mean I'm but that means I'm not gonna be playing England anymore, so don't expect me to start all over again or something like that. But I feel like, feel like recording some more, so this time we're gonna play as the Ottomans, and there's a few reasons for that. The first is they're kind of an interesting nation because they're kind of like a cross between like an uncivilized uh, Middle Eastern nation, but also kind of like a Western European nation. So they're kind of like one of, the more, one of the more interesting countries to play. And they also, I get to show off quite a few things that you don't get to do as England, like, like the pains of westernization and uh, messing with technology and what it's like to be a Muslim nation right next to the Christian Europe. So yeah, let's just get right in there. Probably required for about an hour maybe, so maybe like four or five parts. And... Oh, well, there we go, the flags are messed up. Last time I tried to record, all the flags are black and it turns out it's because you have to disable your second monitor, which I didn't know. I don't know why that's in the game, but whatever. Why it's been fixed, but it doesn't matter. So, here we are. Change it to political map mode. And we see I've already got our first mission. Vassalize Dulkadir. Dulkadir is... Uh, which one is it? Yeah, it's this orange nation here. Which we might not do right away, but we'll get around to it quite early on. Also, I just want to mention that um, this won't be a completely informative like, walkthrough like it was with my England one. It's more just like me playing through the game because I don't know all the ins and outs and all the details of the Ottoman Empire. I've played them once or twice, but that was a while ago, so I don't really remember everything that you're supposed to do with them. I remember a few things, but not everything. Not as much as I knew with England anyway. So, it might, obviously I might, I'll probably make some mistakes here and there, but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do pretty well. So let's see what we've started out. We've got an army of one regiment here, 19 there. That's quite a big army for this early in the game. And we've gone diplomatic map mode. Where are you? There you are. So you can see uh, Serbia and Bosnia. There we go, our allies. We have claims on this little bit of Greece here and kind of all of Anatolia and this province by the Timurid Horde. So it's not a bad position to be honest. One thing that is annoying is though is that Byzantium still exists, so you kinda got this big purple blob in the middle of our nation, which isn't which doesn't look very nice to be honest. And that's the most important thing in EU3. Um so yeah, what's our fleet like? Ten galleys, five transports, not bad, but uh one interesting thing about this area of the world is that you don't need transports to get across here to here look. If you look here you can see this little icon here, that means it's like a straight province. That means you can move across with armies. So I can move from Adirn to Bursa without transports or a fleet, anything like that. But if there is like a fleet, an enemy fleet there that you're at war with, it will block passage. So you can't just do it all the time. So yeah, um, as you can see also, we start at war with the Timurids. And I don't think I explained anything about the hard aspect of the game before. But I think... Oh, there are canets, so I don't know, maybe. So you can see the weird thing about like hard nations, and there's the two big hard nations you'll come across the Golden Hard, which is in like Russia, and Timurids, which you can see kinda owns quite a huge part chunk of Asia. And the thing about them is they automatically go to war with anyone that's bothered them. Doesn't matter what country it is, they'll automatically go to war. So you can see in the sidebar if you click on Timurids, they're at war with like ten nations, something ridiculous. And you can make peace with them, but you have limited diplomatic options. And then once that truce runs out, they're gonna you're gonna be at war with them again anyway. So they're kind of like an annoying nation to deal with. But they also have some other interesting things. Like, let's say I wanted to capture Ursa, which I will want to do later. All I have to do is go in, siege that province, and after like I think it's two years, I think it automatically becomes part of your territory. I'm not sure if there's an infamy cost. I don't remember, but I don't think there is. So <clears throat> it's quite easy to take territory off them, but the same thing applies on your ends. They don't need to bargain for your territory, they just, they just got to hold it for a few years. So, they're kind of an interesting niche to deal with, but mostly annoying to be honest. Especially the Timurids, who are really powerful at the beginning of the game. 
they'll collapse within like 20 years most likely but right now they're kind of a big threat because you can see this is a big 25 regiment army right on our borders probably going to move into here I mean they're at war with these guys here but they'll probably more focus of us to be honest since we're like their only threat so I've done enough talking right off the bat let's set our options change our slider I will move it once to centralization I was hoping it'd be a large revolt those are it's the least painful option and it's in Sivas which is probably the most ideal location since I'm going there anyway uh, otherwise slots oh wow that this is really lucky Okay, I think we can afford this land tech investment dude. And I'll put the stability guy in, but I won't put any more on that because I don't want to completely destroy my income early on. Uh, you can see also one interesting thing about all the uh, Muslim nations, all the Islam nations, sorry, at the beginning is they start with a higher tech than the rest of Europe. The rest of Europe starts out with, uh, you see, land and naval free. We start off at, uh, hang on, there we go, we start out at five and all of them straight off the bat which is quite nice but uh, to be honest the Europeans will catch up quite quickly so it's kind of a temporary thing and then once they've surpassed you unless you westernize you are not gonna catch up with them ever again but yeah it is kind of nice especially right at the beginning when you, when you first start fighting Christians which I inevitably will anywhere um, anything else we need to bother with it's also a bunch of completely different religious decisions which we won't deal with right now. Um, we also start out with, because uh, everything's at five, we start with uh, one national idea already taken which isn't nice but we have to deal with it and we've got national conscripts which increase our manpower by 50% which is okay I guess. It's not really, it's kind of useful but it's not the one I'd pick if I had the choice. 20% army tradition, 20% naval tradition, that's quite decent. Nothing to do here. And here's our decisions, our mission. So you can see at the bottom here we have a decision called Westernize. And yeah, there's a to Westernize you can see there's quite a lot of specific and hard to reach parameters to kind of achieve. So you can see here we need all the Western guys need to be twenty technologies ahead, which is quite a it's quite a huge gap. And then we need to sort out our sliders quite a bit, which will take a long time anyway. And one of the fun things about even if you do westernize, it doesn't westernize your army, it only westernizes your technology. After you've westernized, you need to modernize your military, which is a whole other uh, awful decision to make. But yeah, we'll get around to that when it comes, because that'll be a while before we westernize. At least a couple, maybe 200 years, I don't know. But we can just manage about it for now. So, first things first. Oh, when you give this guy. Oh, we start off with a really nice general at the beginning. That's very useful. I don't know what this one regiment is doing, but that's going there as well. And I will recruit some three regiments of infantry and one regiment of cavalry because I know I'm not gonna be able to match the Timurids like if they sent all their men to me, but with like an army almost their size, I can do a decent job against them. Because I mean, even though they'll probably attack me straight away, he's at war with like all these nations as well so they're gonna be spread pretty thin and once like once their army's broken they'll collapse pretty quickly so that's all got to achieve right now as for Vasilis and Dulcadir once once they're made peace with Timurids which I can't right now unless I offer tribute which I'm not doing and while me I may as well explain the diplomatic question so you can see when I Go and see for peace. There's no off, there's no offer white peace. That never happens. And there's no annex. You can't really do it. This is their um, enemies and nomadic tribe. The only peace they understand is gold or steel. So what you do is you can either concede defeat, which you'll lose five prestige, or you can demand tribute, which you can see the tribute depends on the size of your nation and your economy. So we'd be paying 5.7 each one, which is a huge amount, and I'm not doing that. That would pretty much cripple our economy. So, if we can demand them to concede defeat, or we can offer to concede defeat, I'll take the prestige ship for like five years of peace. So, let's actually start the game. Mm -hmm. 
Also, just show the. I should look at the religious side, but you can see um, the Ottomans start with like half their nation still Christian, which is a bit annoying. But all of this is still Muslim, which is nice. But we're gonna have to get around to converting all these pretty soon. We won't do it right now, especially since I have no missionaries anywhere. But eventually, you have to get around a bit because you always want to convert provinces because it just redu gets rid of a, a lot of religious like uprisings and things like that. So yeah. Oh, actually, oh, well, there's a 10 regiment army from the Timurids, which is moving back. I don't know where the 25 regiments went, but as long as they're gone, that's nice for us. Let's beat this army. Where are they going? Angara. Should we chase them down? What I'll do is, I think, I'll... Hmm. Mm, that is bad. I need to get rid of the army. But I don't think I can unless I have some military access, which still accept, but I won't do it right now. Because I don't want I don't want uh, Dilgadir to fall, because I'm going to vassalize him later on. Ooh, let's get these up here. What's our... See, we're barely breaking even with our economy, because I re recruited all those regiments, which I'll have to... Which I'm going to keep for now, obviously, but I might have to get rid of them later on. Let's get them to join up. See, nice 25 regiment army, which is more than a match for whatever. Well, it's actually not more than a match. It's nowhere near a match. <laughs> but still, let's save Dulcadir while we're at it. Wow, even Mamluks are invading them. So you can see, um, Tim Red's already starting to make peace with some nations. I can't chase the army down. Um, so once they've started making peace with all these eastern nations and these ones up here, then they're going to start focusing on me, so you have to force a deal with them quite quickly. Because I can't beat them completely on my own. Also, one nice thing about um, like hordes like these is that their revolt when 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 their leader dies, the revolt risk goes up massively, and there's like a big civil war. So you'll often see big pretender rebellion armies moving about. I don't know why I'm besieging this because I can't do anything. Let's just go back. See, I don't want Trebizon to take it because then I won't be able to take it myself, and that's all I want to do. Maybe they'll accept peace of us. Ooh, they would. I'm gonna do that. I don't wanna mess about on a wall of them, because they'll probably start they'll probably start attacking us pretty soon. So yeah, um, let's cancel military access from these. Wow, that's a lot of money. Just them buying out our advisors. Oh, so you can see uh, Byzantium's trying to Byzantium will try and take like some of these Greek nations and some of these ones up here. It'll be a bit annoying if they do, but you want to keep them as weak as possible. Not that they'll ever be able to challenge us, but you know, it's just nice. Oh, we've really evolved now. Ramazan, really? Reconquest. Oh, I can't. Bosnia, Serbia joins. Ramazan, really? You're doing this? All really population, because it's a tide of war and a slope is a tide of war. What is our war exhaustion? That's a good point. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, it's not a point 0.15, come on guys. We've been in the war for like a year now. So, peasants are to be ignored. That's exactly what's going to happen. So what else is going on in the world? Going hard to burn in Lithuania, which happens. What's England up to? Our good old friend England. Looks at like the war with France already, and they're at war with some Irish nation. That's not going to go well for them, to be honest. What's their mission, actually? Recover Normandy. That's a terrible mission to get. Good luck with that, England. Very rarely, you like, very rarely, sorry, very rarely, rarely, 
you'll see them actually succeed and like actually take over friends but it almost never happens France has to get like completely destroyed by everyone else at the beginning for England to have a chance. Unless, of course, you had someone like me at the helm, which they want. You can see George is already starting to fall already. Because George is set out in a really bad position. Cause they get start well, they start it well with the Golden Heart and the Timurids at the same time. Which, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty unlucky. So I'm hoping that when Ramazan finish sieging this place, they won't annex and they'll just demand money or something weird. Oh, they could do nothing at all. There we go, white bees. Now we can take them. Sue for peace. Annex. Zero in for me, that is so nice. And a nice bit of temper prestige. Vassalize do. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were supposed to vassalize them. Whoops. Oh well. I think it's nicer to take them anywhere. I mean, it is our car, so there won't be any rebellions or anything like that. What was our next mission? Here we go. City of the World's Desires. The last orders of the Great Prophet were sent forth. Were to send forth the warriors of the faith to bring the Romans into the house of submission. We must do what no other Ghazi has done before and conquer the city in the name of the Prophet. That sounds pretty fun. Let's do that. So now they want they want us to retake Thrace, Constantinople, assemble, whatever you want to call it. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna disband this five regiment army because I won't be paying too much. Ooh, what's this? Alliance off from Yemen. Where's Yemen? No, no, I'm not accepting that. Lines off from the Mamluks. Hmm. That's tempting, but it's only because they want us to drag, a, drag us in a war with Timurids or whatever. So I'm going to decline that as well. So I know eventually I'm going to want to be at war with the Mamluks. So I want to take like all of this and Egypt and stuff like that. So I'll just keep them at a fair distance. So we're going to declare war on Byzantium soon. We're allied with Denmark, which, yeah, that doesn't worry me at all. So we've got Holy War, our conquest, which, hmm, I don't know, they both mean the same thing. What else do they have? They have Maria and, they don't have Naxos, what else do they have? Oh, what, they, what was one already? Scotland and Burgundy, that's nice. Oh, they're already getting defeated. So I'm going to declare war on them right now before they get too many allies. Ooh, I didn't realize I had a re rebellion there. Oh, they must have moved in from that province. 